What is NMN and why is the FDA trying to ban it? Nicotinamide mononucleotide, or NMN, is a chemical found in all living organisms. It gains interest in the medical field due to its anti-aging properties. However, current reports indicate that the FDA is trying to make the use of NMN illegal as a supplement. In this video, we'll look at what NMN is, what it can do for you, and why the FDA is considering making it illegal. What exactly is NMN? NMN is naturally found in the body. It is a vitamin B3 derivative that is essential for cellular energy generation. As we age, the amount of NMN in our bodies decreases, resulting in a decrease in energy production and the body's ability to heal itself. This is why NMN has gained attention as a possible anti-aging drug in recent years. NMN supplements are marketed as a solution to increase energy, improve cognitive function, and prolong life. They come in several formats, such as powders and capsules. NMN mainly functions by activating sirtuins, a protein family that regulates cellular metabolism and aging. Sirtuins boost cellular health by regulating gene expression, fixing damaged DNA, and reducing inflammation. NMN has been proven to offer a variety of other possible health advantages in addition to its anti-aging properties. NMN, for example, has been proven in trials to improve cardiovascular function, increase exercise performance, and protect against some types of cancer. What are the benefits of NMN? As previously indicated, NMN supplementation has been demonstrated to boost NAD plus levels in the body. NAD plus is a coenzyme required for energy production and cellular metabolism. By raising NAD plus levels, NMN may help to slow the aging process and reduce the risk of age-related diseases. Number one, increased energy levels. It has been observed that NMN supplementation increases energy levels by increasing the production of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, a molecule that provides energy to cells. NMN may aid in increasing physical performance and minimize tiredness by enhancing ATP generation. Number two, improved cognitive function. NMN has been shown in studies to improve cognitive performance, including memory, attention, and learning. This is thought to be due to its ability to increase NAD plus levels, which can help promote healthy brain function and reduce inflammation. Number three, neuroprotection. NMN has been proven to have neuroprotective properties, which implies it may aid in the prevention of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. NMN may aid in decreasing inflammation and support healthy brain function by activating sirtuins. Number 4. Cardiovascular Benefits It has been discovered that NMN supplementation improves cardiovascular function by lowering inflammation, increasing lipid metabolism, and supporting healthy blood flow. This may aid in lowering the risk of cardiovascular diseases, such as heart attacks and strokes. Number 5. Exercise Performance NMN supplementation has been proven in studies to improve exercise performance by boosting mitochondrial activity, increasing muscular strength, and decreasing tiredness. This might be especially helpful for elderly persons who may see a reduction in physical performance as they age. So why is the FDA considering a ban on NMN? The Food and Drug Administration, FDA, is considering a ban on the sale of nicotinamide mononucleotide, NMN, as a dietary supplement due to pressure from pharmaceutical companies investigating it as a drug. NMN is a precursor to nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, NAD+, which plays a crucial role in cell energy, DNA repair, and cell stress alleviation. As people age, NAD plus levels decline, leading to age-related diseases like cardiovascular, neurological, and metabolic issues. Studies have shown that taking NMN increases blood, NAD plus levels, and mitigates age-related diseases in animal models. Pharmaceutical companies, including Metro International Biotech, have been investigating NMN as a drug for humans and sent a letter to the FDA in December 2021 requesting that NMN be classified as a drug to protect their research from competition from dietary supplements. This pressure may have led the FDA to ban the sale of NMN as a supplement, reversing its previous decision to allow it. The ban is not being enforced currently, but it could be in the future. The FDA's decision is based on a provision in the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act of 1994, DHSEA, which states that a dietary supplement cannot contain an ingredient that has been authorized for investigation as a new drug, for which substantial clinical investigations have been instituted, and for which the existence of such investigations has been made public. This provision applies unless the investigations began after the compound had been approved for use as a supplement. NMN has been sold in Asian countries like Japan since 2014, 
but is still a newcomer to U.S. markets. Numerous companies have filed new dietary ingredient, NDI, notifications with the FDA. But the FDA raised objections based on a lack of evidence for NMN safety. In May 2022, the FDA acknowledged an NDI notification from the Chinese company Syncozymes without objection, but it changed its course on granting NMN and NDI in response to another notification from Inner Mongolia Kingdomway. The FDA's ruling was due to NMN already being investigated as a drug. The FDA can decide whether to enforce its rulings on supplements, but in a similar instance with the supplement N-acetyl-L-cysteine, NAC, the FDA excluded the compound from being defined as a dietary supplement on similar grounds in 2021. After citizen petitions and litigation, the FDA decided to exercise enforcement discretion with NAC, effectively leaving NAC manufacturers alone for now. There are currently no signs of the FDA taking NMN off the shelves, but it's unclear whether it will enforce its ruling. NMN manufacturers will likely continue pressing the FDA to apply enforcement discretion, while pharmaceutical companies may apply pressure in the opposite direction. And thank you for watching and please remember to like and subscribe to the Longevity Experts channel for more health and longevity news and tips.